Trump reportedly gave Merkel a bill for 300 billion pounds. Angela Merkel will reportedly ignore Donald Trump's attempts to extricate pound 300 BN from Germany for what he deems to be owed contributions to NATO. The US president is said to have had an invoice printed out outlining the sum estimated by his aides as covering Germany's unpaid contributions for defense. Said to be presented during private talks in Washington, the move has been met with criticism from German and NATO officials. While the figure presented to the Germans was not revealed by either side, NATO countries pledged in 2014 to spend 2% of their GDP on defense, something only a handful of nations, including the UK, Greece, Poland, and Estonia, currently do. But the bill has been backdated even further to 2002, the year Mrs. Merkel's predecessor, Gerhard Schroeder, pledged to spend more on defense. Mr. Trump reportedly instructed aides to calculate how much German spending fell below 2% over the past 12 years, then added interest. Estimates suggest the total came to pound 300 BN, with official figures citing the shortfall to be around pound 250 BN plus pound 50 BN in interest added on. The Times quoted a German government minister as saying the move was outrageous. The unnamed minister said, the concept behind putting out such demands is to intimidate the other side, but the Chancellor took it calmly and will not respond to such provocations. And the paper quoted a source close to Mrs. Merkel saying she has ignored the provocation. The bill follows a disastrous meeting between the pair earlier this month, characterized by Mr. Trump's refusal to shake his peer's hand. A day after the meeting, Mr. Trump tweeted, Despite what you have heard from the fake news, I had a great meeting with the Chancellor Angela Merkel. Nevertheless, Germany owes vast sums of money to NATO and the United States must be paid more for the powerful, and very expensive, defense it provides to Germany. In response to the claims, German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen rejected the notion the European nation owed the US or NATO. She issued a statement saying, there is no debt account at NATO. Defense spending also goes into UN peacekeeping missions, into our European missions and into our contribution to the fight against ISIS terrorism. Her comments were backed by Ivo Dalder, permanent representative to NATO from 2009 to 2013 under the Obama administration, who queried the president's understanding of the organization. He tweeted, Sorry Mr. President, that's not how NATO works. The U.S. decides for itself how much it contributes to defending NATO. This is not a financial transaction, where NATO countries pay the U.S. to defend them. It is part of our treaty commitment. Mr. Trump has repeatedly voiced his criticism over member payments to NATO, throwing doubt on the future role of the U.S. in the organization. He has singled out a number of NATO countries, including Germany, over their defense contributions claiming the U.S. has been